guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to derive the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series. So firstly, what is an arithmetic series? Well, this is the sum of a sequence of terms where each consecutive term has got a common difference. So this is an example where the common difference is 1 because we're adding on 1 every time. First term here is 1 also and there's a finite number of terms which is 100. So I'm going to show you how to do this using numbers first and then we'll generalise it using letters. So the trick we use is by writing this series out backwards. So S equals 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus etc. all the way down to 3 plus 2 plus 1. Now you can see here both of these series are going to have the same sum. So we can add these two together and we'll do this by pairing them up like this. So first term, first term, second term, second term, etc. So on the left hand side, we're just going to get two lots of s. Now we add these two together. So 1 plus 100 gives us 101. 2 plus 99, 101. 3 plus 98, also 101. So you can see here the pattern just goes on. And every term is going to be 101. And we can take advantage of this trick to find the sum of the series. So how many terms are there going to be now? Well, we defined it as 1 to 100, so there's going to be 100 terms. So we can simplify this as 100 times 101. So if we solve for s by dividing by 2, so 100 over 2 is 50, so we get 50 times 101. So the sum of this series is going to be 5050. And there you go. If you add up all the numbers from 1 to 100, you get 5050. So now let's try and generalise it. So I'll just wipe the board off. And firstly, we need to define, uh, define some terms. So let's let A equal the first term. And D being our common difference. And then N being the number of terms. So what's our general arithmetic series going to look like? This is going to be S of n equals, this notation represents the series with n number of terms. So S of n equals, our first term is going to be a, second term is going to be a plus d, third term is a plus 2d, etc. All the way up to the last term a plus n minus 2d plus a plus n minus 1d and this is our last term here a plus n minus 1d the reason we've got n minus 1 is because we introduced d in the second term so there's a lag if you like that there's always one less d than the term number so we'll use the same trick as before s of n equals by writing out backwards so s of n equals a plus n minus 1d plus a plus n minus 2d. I'll just write up a couple of terms. And a plus d and a. Right, so just as before, we're going to add these two series together. So left hand side, we get two lots of s of n. And now we need to pair up these terms just as before. First term and first term. Second term of second term, all the way to the last term. So let's add these together now. So we get 2a plus n minus 1d. That's the first term. And let's look at this one now. So still 2a, and we have n minus 2d plus d. So we get n minus 1d, just as before. So you can see, just as before, every term is going to be the same, all the way up to the last term. So how many terms are there going to be? Well, from our definition, there's going to be n number of terms. So we can simplify this as 2s of n equals n times 
to a plus n minus 1 d. Now solving for s of n, by just dividing by 2, we get the formula. So n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 d. And there you have it. How to derive the sum of an arithmetic series.